What's up everyone, Christian DukeStrengthAddicts.com. I'd like to take a moment and make a video about my friend Ron Harris, online editor-in-chief at Muscular Development. You know, there's a lot of things that I look up to about Ron, but one of the main things is that he just doesn't give a shit about what people in the industry have to say about him. And when I say people in the industry, I'm really saying that with a grain of salt because a lot of the people in the industry are actually so far beneath him in terms of writing abilities, in terms of production abilities, in terms of credibility in the game, credibility on the street, in terms of, you know, the quality of their work. I mean, honestly, but the thing is, nowadays, everybody's got a microphone and a web camera and an internet connection, and people just talk a lot of trash. And so if somebody is persistent enough, they can make themselves heard. That is not to say that they have an audience and that is not to say that they are popular or even that's not even to say that they're good at what they do. That's just to say if they're persistent enough, they can get their voice to the person intended. And the reality of the matter is, is that Ron never mentions these people much less attacks these people, will not give them any airtime, because think about it, I mean, he works for one of the two greatest magazines in actuality and in the history of bodybuilding. I'm not just talking about right now, because MD actually was better than uh, Muscle Mag International. It was better than Planet Muscle. It was better than a lot of the publications that are no longer in active circulation or that may not even exist today. So MD is one of the two greatest right now, but it's also one of the two greatest that ever lived because, you know, we can't take away from Flex Magazine. I mean, Flex is amazing as well. So he is the online editor of Muscular Development. You know, whenever he goes to a competition, people know who he is. More importantly, more importantly, athletes know who he is. And so one of the other things I want to talk about is content. You know, I've been pressured over the years by so many people telling me, oh, you know, Strength Addicts needs a new look. It needs a WordPress template. You need to do like everybody else. And I always was of the getbig.com mentality, Ron Ovid on site. And that mentality is this. It's about the content. All the bells and whistles, you can have the time in New York City, Moscow, and Beijing. That's nice. You can have an interactive guest book. You can have backgrounds that explode whenever you go to new pages. That's all nice. But if you don't have the content, you don't have shit. People don't care about bells and whistles. They don't care about backdrops. They don't care about microphones. They don't care about what kind of clothes you're wearing. What they care about is the content. And one look, one look at that roster of heavy hitters on the Ron Line Report, just one look, you're blown away. Yeah, I mean, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the backdrop doesn't matter. The microphones don't matter. It doesn't matter. And so... To me, honestly, I just want to give kudos to Ron. I want to give kudos to Ron because I'm of the same school of thought. You know, bodybuilding fans want to be entertained. They want to be engaged. They want to hear and they want to see athletes say respect from all of the eras. Because that's one thing about bodybuilding that I got to say that's unlike any other sport and unlike music, unlike art, unlike literature. If you rocked it, if you were a superstar in the 60s, a superstar in the 70s, well, by God, you're a superstar in 2017 because that does not change. The titles you won, the accomplishments that you earned, they will be respected throughout the gamut of time, throughout the whole course of time in bodybuilding. There is no such thing in bodybuilding as a has-been. There is no such thing in bodybuilding as out of style. If you won the Olympia, if you won the Arnold Classic, if you won the Mr. America, if you won the Mr. World, it doesn't matter if you won it 40 years ago. That accomplishment carries through time. People respect that. People like Ron, you know, he's so on the ball. The entertainment, the stars are not us in the media, it's the athletes.